How's your mental health? I'm listening with Dan Reynolds from Imagine Dragons. Yeah, I don't think there's an age that's too early because really, if you take away the word therapy, what's happening is, hey, let's communicate with other people. Let's communicate what you're feeling. It's just communication skills. So it's like basically you're just saying, hey, there might be some conversation that you can have with X person that's going to help you. And because it helps you to evolve as a human. Explore more at imlistening.org. Whether you're a seasoned investor like me or new to the game, it's time to sit down, roll up your sleeves, and find out new ways of making money. Subscribe to WBBM's new podcast, Gains with Andy Gersher, where I talk to experts from all over the country to get fresh perspectives on meme stocks, cryptocurrencies, AI, and so much more. Subscribe to Gains with Andy Gersher on the Odyssey app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Gavin's phone scams on the 10th. It's tax season. Cooper is a CPA. So his girlfriend, Brandy, uh, oh, girlfriend or wife? I don't remember. She um, wanted me to phone scam Cooper. So I'm calling him to set up an appointment so that he can do my taxes because I have a lot of write-offs. But all the write-offs that I have don't make any sense whatsoever. It's Gavin's phone scam on the wake-up call. Hello. Hi, is this Cooper? This is. Hi, uh, Cooper. My name is Raul Labrador. Um, I got your phone number from a friend of mine that you did taxes for. Uh, you're a CPA, right? Correct. Okay. Uh, I'm looking to find somebody new to do my taxes. The the guy that I used to have, it's just, he's it's it's not working out with him. So are you are you taking? Uh, I don't know what they're called. Clients. Uh, yes, I am. This is my, uh, personal line, but, um, what, what kind of represent, what, what are you looking for exactly? Just, just my taxes done. I could do them myself, but I don't, I have a lot of write-offs. I think, well, I think, I think I have a lot of write-offs. What kind of business structure are we talking about? Is this like, no, it's not a business. I'm just, it's just, no, it's just me. It's not a business. It's just me. Okay. Well, what do you do for work exactly? I work at Target. I was an assistant manager, but I have been demoted. And we're not going to talk about that because Ashley is a bitch. Uh, okay. Um, just to let you know, you could do most of these forms on your own. I, I mean, know, that's, but that's like I simple. said, I have a lot of write-offs, though. So, like, for instance, I can probably write off all the clothes that I buy, right? As long as they're for work, yes. None of them are for work. <laughs> No, unfortunately, you can't. Uh, it's specifically for work. What if I bought all red clothes because of Target? Could I write that off? I mean, how many? Cl- how much clothes are we talking about here? I have lots of clothes. I have like fifteen pairs of shirts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, it would be more like fifteen thousand dollars worth of clothes would be something that we could be able to work with. But no, if okay. it's a lower amount, that it doesn't really affect. The overall amount that you're going to get. Back. All right, all right. Let's forget about the sense? clothes. Okay, forget about the clothes. What about plants? What about plants that I buy? Um, and, and why would plants be a write-off for you? I because I love them. <laughs> I don't think we're fully understanding each other. One, so it has to be for work in order for it to be a write-off. Okay, all right. Sense? So how about okay? So then okay, they inspire me, <laughs> and I work better. Okay. If you want to go down this road, you will be audited. And if you think it's worth audited, being audited over to try to scheme the government out of, you know, ten, fifteen dollars, you can do that. Now, I, you're not going to get my signature on it. OK. Oh, I see what you're saying. You don't want to do like what is that? That's like fraud. Yes. Fraud is a nice way of putting it. <laughs> can I write off when I help old people? Like, I let me okay. explain. I kind of take care of my grandmother, kind of. And um, sometimes I go over to her house and she has friends of hers there. So I will walk in and I'll be like, hey, Mima. And then she'll say, there's some crackers and some hard salami. Can you go bring them out in a, on a plate? And I'll do it. Can I write that off? Okay. What was your name again? Raul. I don't think you're fully understanding what a write-off is. So yes. you helping out the elderly and yeah. buying them sausages. I'm not buying. I'm not. I'm do. not buying it. I'm just bringing it to them. 
Okay, well then, stealing sausages and giving. Well, no, it to they give me permission. They give me Cooper. They give me com- permission to to go get sausage from the from the refrigerator, and I bring it in. You're cut. You're in the middle of my sentence. You're cutting me off, and I can't fully finish my point here. And you're not understanding the full scope. How about okay? a smile? Can I write off a smile? I smile a lot, mostly when I bring sausages to old women. <laughs> No, you can't write that off, and you're wasting my time at this point, and I'm going to get off the phone. Uh, okay? Hold on. Cooper, Cooper, are you still there? Hello? Yes, I'm here, Raul. <laughs> None of this has been real. I'm not Raul. My name's Gavin, and I do a morning radio show called The Wake Up Call. You're on a prank phone call. What the f- <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey. <laughs> Holy shit, I thought that was real. I thought you were the biggest idiot I ever came across in my entire life. That was, I've never had to repeat myself that many times about the smallest thing. Jesus Christ, good one. That was hilarious. <laughs> your your girlfriend, Brandy's the one who told me to do this. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Want Gavin to scam someone you know? Email phonescam at endonline.com. Do you have a list in your head, things that you're curious about, that you've been meaning to look up later? Yeah, me too. My internet search history, full of this kind of stuff. It's really good trivia. My name's Mike Simpson. I do the news for my day job. But on my new podcast, I've Got Questions, we are going to go through that list. First mine, and then we're going to do yours. Everything from deja vu to dinosaurs. You can find it now on the Odyssey app or wherever you get your podcasts. Let's go and find some answers because I've got questions.